everyone, this is the Wakfu Guide and today I'm bringing you another video. This time it's about El Hoen. I've made a video on this before two years ago, but they added a few minor things and uh, things are in different places with the whole revamp of Astrup. And uh, the two year old video wasn't of uh, really good quality, so that's why I'm making a new one. Uh, this one will be shorter than my 30 minute video that I made last time. Um, so basically uh, once you log into the game you get uh, this quest uh, that just pops up as soon as you look in, Bubbling Cauldron. And you need to talk to the Pump Queen Villager, I'll show you where he is on the map. Uh, he's in the center of Astrup Village, of Astrup City, uh, yeah Astrup City. Uh, you can uh, go to Temple of Omnox and then take a boat and take the Dragon Turkey or uh, when you are new to the game uh, you also end up here eventually. Uh, he's standing right here, I'm not gonna read out live what he says, uh, you can pause the video or uh, read it yourself. Uh, I'm not even sure what he says, uh, it's, 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 total, total, it's totally skippable what he says, uh, but anyway, once, you, uh, once, you, once you've uh, talked to him, uh, you need to get to the cemetery. And now I am at the cemetery. Uh, what you need to do first is find these types of mobs, an Alhoen Gobble or uh, Alhoen Ghoul. Uh, I'm gonna let them attack me so you can see what uh, they do. Uh, but these are the two enemy types you can find uh, in this update or update uh, event. And uh, yeah, they're not really hard to beat actually. Uh, you can kill them at level uh, 20 or something. You can one turn them. Uh, but once you fight enough of them, you want to go uh, uh, to the cauldron. And I don't know if I have enough. No, I don't have enough. Okay, I will be right back after I fought some more. And then uh, I'll show you the rest. So now I got four pieces. I missed just one. And then you need to interact with the cauldron here. But before I do that, I want to show you the El Hoen machine. Uh, it's right next to the dungeon. Uh, most things are the same as last year, but there are new new items uh, which are these one the sorcerer's apprentice table uh, elho and owl the bubbling cauldron and the drink cup port drink cup port I'm not sure how to pronounce this one and the pumpkin costume uh, this is new I didn't have it yet because I missed a few tokens uh, but I'll show it to you I already uh, showed this costume before uh, in my uh, Astro 1.48 video, but then I didn't have it myself, so uh, now I can give you guys a better look at it. Uh, but this is basically it. You, it's uh, better for female players because it's basically a witch, uh, so it looks better on female players in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a really cool costume uh, that you can get for free uh, if you don't want to uh, buy costumes or. Uh, don't have many commas, this is a pretty cool costume. And uh, to get on with the uh, quest thing, uh, once you interact with this, that, that's why I wanted to show the costume first. Uh, your costume de-equips sort of, you still have it on but uh, it doesn't appear anymore. And you get this pumpkin hat and you need it to do the dungeon. Uh, there's also a pumpkin villager right here at this at Astrup Center but it appears that there's also one here. Uh, that, that's new, they didn't have this last year. Uh, but then you can just go into the dungeon. Uh, I, re I recommend you do this with two people. Uh, it's, this is the only dungeon uh, in the entirety of the game that I would say this. Because usually uh, dungeons have uh, set enemy mobs. But if you go in with more people here, uh, the mobs get more difficult. And the, the boss spawns mobs and uh, for each person it spawns two mobs. Uh, and it's really easier if you just go in with two people but you need to be well coordinated so don't just pick any random guy uh, maybe a friend or something I will make a separate video about the dungeon uh, once you beat her uh, there's nothing really much to do in this update uh, there's one more thing I want to show uh, and just need to go get to my haven back So uh, once you defeated the witch you get this note and these are uh, some recipes on how to make some uh, stuff. The evil lollipop in the Hoenn Street. Uh, the evil lollipop gives 20 HP 
and uh, El Hoen Candy uh, gives you 50 prospecting but also Unlucky Day which gives 10% chance of a critical failure which is uh, a pretty bad penalty but it's not uh, too bad uh, I don't know why I'm at the handyman it's for chef damn it select the stove I'll show you uh, the recipes right here once again uh, so yeah the evil lollipop uh, just requires two pieces of pumpkin and if I'm correct I should be able to craft El Hoen candy uh, maybe I need to you need to use the makeup a recipe uh, option for that uh, oh yeah I don't have two pieces of pumpkin right now so I can't show you uh, but I do drop it I think yeah El Hoen street uh, this is the treat as I said before uh, you get prospecting but also unlucky day and these are set values that these won't increase or anything like that uh, but yeah that's what you uh, can get uh, when you beat the witch um, other than that there's uh, one more thing uh, which is two quests or three actually but uh, it's basically two and uh, you need to kill 666 El Hoen ghouls and 666 El Hoen gobbles. And you will get a title and a whole lot of tokens for that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, they will pop up in your quest, quest uh, book. But I, I already completed them. Uh, there's one more thing I need to show you and then this video is over so I'll be right back because it's in another location. So now I'm over here uh, just a little bit north of the city. Uh, there's a person here called Katrina Slavastan. Sl Slavastan, not sure. Uh, when you talk to her uh, you can get a few quests. Uh, it's, these are just material collection quests and uh, they give you uh, El Homo tokens and pieces of pumpkins. Uh, so it's really nice to farm for this. Uh, the materials you need automatically drop from uh, ghouls and gobbles. And uh, you can just do this as many times as you want. I, uh, the annoying thing though is if you want to farm this event, uh, which I did last year. Uh, and I ended up with 20 uh, Alhoman costumes. And one costume is 150 tokens, so you do the math. Uh, you need to click a whole lot uh, here and you can just be standing here for half an hour completing quests uh, like this and then clicking OK and confirm quest and complete quest la 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 so that can take a lot of time uh, but yeah that was it for this video uh, I hope uh, you guys liked it and uh, I'll see you guys next time uh, I also I'm also gonna make a video about the dungeon which will be released on the same day so make sure you check that out if you want to and that was it for me Thanks for watching, see you all later, bye.